I think the principles there of zero trust and things like secure by design, secure by default, we're starting to see those be just accepted best practices now. And so I think how far companies are in their journey is really dependent on what tech that they had, where did they start, yep. where are they coming from, you know, what's the culture? Because the culture has such a huge, I think, impact to all these technical discussions. You know, is the culture ready to adopt some of these security things? Are they comfortable talking about, you know, just-in-time access and conditional access and, you know, dealing with that in terms of training and, and access? And so I think it, I think it's all coming together. I do think it's really important, though. I think allowing least privilege in the right situations for developers, for IT administrators, for security administrators, right? Like having that in place, having the auditing in place, and then, you know, being able to reduce blast radius if something goes wrong. I think those are all the core principles that we're seeing come out of zero trust and come out of secure by design that just makes sense and Definitely. need to happen.